Welcome everyone to Blackwell Unbound, the sequel to the Blackwell Legacy. Here we are playing as Rosangela's Aunt Lauren. Um, it's basically the same thing, except we're doing it from Lauren's perspective. I don't know, it's a lot of fun. Uh, let's get going. Should be options. Uh, yeah, sure. She smokes a lot. Infinity. I've been told it's beautiful, but I don't think it's anything special. But when you live like me, most things become quite ordinary. Life, death, tormented souls, it's all the same to me. Sometimes I wonder if anything will ever surprise me again. Sometimes I wonder if I even care. Stay out. Aw, oh, hey, you know I don't like that. What's your beef, anyway? I am not talking to you. Oh, promises, promises. So what's next on the list? What's next? The balcony. Why, gonna throw yourself over and join me? No, I'm having a cigarette. Great, you want a cigarette. What am I supposed to do? You can do whatever the hell you like. Just one. Then I can get on with this. I tried growing flowers in there once. Now, it's an ashtray. Yep. Absolutely not. Right now, nothing exists except for me and this cigarette. A pair of muddy boots. What's the point of that? I can't wear the things. Man, that is an old coat. I think soldiers wore it during the Civil War. I can't wear the thing. A jar stuffed with loose cash. What do you want me to do, blow on it? It's the front door. Come on, let's hit the road. This place is Boresville Central. In a minute, Joey. Look how young she was. She's got to be 18, 19. It's been over 10 years. Time flies. Uh, she looks more 15 or 16 in that picture. Oh, look, it's her. Good old Patricia Blackwell, also known as Cleopatra, Queen of Denial. Spent seven months bonded to that woman. She never spoke to me once. That's Jack, her kid brother. He's all right, I guess. If I'd known I could be photographed, I would have shown my good side. Oh look! Another ashtray! I can't remember the last time she washed that thing. Just a radio. I have no interest in that thing. Just an old doormat. It's covered in cigarette burns. Oh look! Another ashtray! It's her phone. Tackiest thing I ever saw. Another ashtray. What a surprise. That thing is deader than, well, me. Some kind of recording device. She babbles into it every morning. She keeps smoking, and yet that pile never seems to grow smaller. Ah, uh, I wish cigarettes were that cheap. She calls this thing a Polaroid. Takes pictures instantly. It's pretty amazing. It's her phone book. Just another one of the many mugs that plague this place. 
Oh, look. It's the couch. Every night I get to watch her snore on that thing. An ashtray. Full, of course. The local rag. Oh, look! An old rain bucket, filled with cigarette butts. Hi-ho the glamorous life. She's in one of her sulky moods. Hey. What? You done moping? Or do you want to grind your teeth some more? Christ, Joey. Can't you just leave it for one minute? Why the heck are you so mad? You honestly don't know. I have no idea. Typical. If you don't know, I'm sure as hell not going to tell you. Take another drag of that cigarette, darling. You get real ugly when you stop smoking. Oh? Is that right? Well... Ugly, am I? Take it easy, dear. It was just a little joke. A joke, yeah. I'm a riot. Like today, when those pipes burst. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is, is that what's got you in such a guff? I got soaked, and you just laughed. Well, it was funny. It was cold and wet and slimy. <laughs> it wasn't funny. You should have seen the look on your face. The way you jumped up and down and ran in circles, squealing. <sighs> Still wasn't funny. If you say so. Okay, I'm finished. Let's get on with this. There's a few things we haven't checked, right? Yes, I've got the list right here. Well, let's check it. Every other case today has been a false alarm. Maybe this will be an easy night. I wish I could charge him rent. My couch. It doubles as my bed at night. That's the couch ashtray for when I sleep or watch TV. Today's paper. It's tabloid crap, but it gives us most of our leads. I should really clean this place up later. It's my phone book. It's my Polaroid camera. It's a dictation machine. I've been trying to keep a record of my dreams by recording what I remember. I'm sure I can nurse this thing back to help. Just needs a little more time. The kitchen ashtray for when I'm cooking or watering the plant. Who needs a candlestick when a cola bottle works just as well? It's my phone. That's the phone ashtray for when I'm on the phone. That's the second kitchen ashtray for when I need both hands to take something out of the fridge. Oh right, I made a cup of coffee this morning and never washed the cup. Or was that yesterday? A little transistor radio. I bought it before I discovered Joey screws up radio signals. My television. It's the latest model. Hmm. I'm running low. A pack of cigarettes. Should last till the end of the day. It's my lighter. This will probably be my last cigarette of the day. Ugh. Every one of these leads has been a dead end. Just two more to go, and we can call it a night. I read about a grocer who was complaining about his stock mysteriously disappearing. Turned out to be a bunch of rats. Joey scared them half to death. Most fun I've had all year. And that was a waste of time. Didn't find any ghosts, and I got soaked. That woman was old, drunk, and senile. A total waste of time. This one looks promising. Residents have reported strange music on the promenade late at night. Nobody knows where it comes from. A development corporation has halted construction after a series of accidents. Probably nothing, but worth checking out. This one looks promising. Residents have reported nobody knows I want to talk to you, Joey. Yes? I'm still mad, you know. Keep it up, doll. I might start to believe you. I really need to get a bigger place. You think so? I find this place quite cozy. So do I. That's the problem. I need a change in my life, Joey. A change? 
The day-to-day -day grind of freeing tormented spirits getting too boring for you? No, I'm thinking of changing the wallpaper. How does pink sound to you? Pink? You're not a pink person. It would brighten up the place. No pink. I am so tired. I just want to relax and smoke a cigarette. Since when do you need an excuse to smoke a cigarette? Good point. I guess we better get out there and finish this thing. After you. I guess we better- After you. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. Got it. I guess I could take this along. We've already looked through this paper. We don't need any more leads. Hey, I got something to say. What is it now? Hey, have you done something different with your hair? What do you mean? I don't know. Something's different. I washed it this morning. With shampoo? Yeah. <clears throat> That's what threw me. So are we gonna futz around here all night? We got stuff to do. Yeah. So are we gonna- We got Yeah. All right, let's get on with it. Yeah. Let's go. Last time I counted, I had around sixty dollars in here. I'll save it for when I really need it. I remember that day. I was in college and visiting home for Christmas. I had a pack of cigarettes hidden in my back pocket. Nobody noticed. Patricia Blackwell, my mom. She was a medium, like me, but it drove her insane. I guess Joey has that effect on people. There he is, the family legacy. Jack Blackwell, my brother. Haven't seen him in years. He's now living with his fiancée Maria. Good for him. I'm not carrying that around. A doormat. It says welcome on it. For all the good it does. An old coat I picked up at the thrift store. I don't need to wear my coat. It's summer. My boots. Good for rain and bad weather. It's summer and it hasn't rained for weeks. I don't need to wear my boots. Come on. Let's get out of here. Right behind you. Looks like another bus, Joey. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe not. Wait, you hear that? I think so. Let's get closer. Hey, look. Looks like our evening might not be a total wash after all. He's playing a saxophone. Totally enraptured. I don't even think he knows we're here. Queensboro Bridge, it connects Manhattan to Queens. I don't think so. That's some view. I can even see the New World Trade Center from here. Uh, I don't think so. Just Joey, floating over my shoulder, as usual. It's his saxophone. Nice tune. You write it yourself? Hey, mister. Hey, mister. Yoo-hoo, I'm talking to you. Hello? He's not hearing you, kid. I'm Lauren Blackwell. What's your name? What are you doing here? Kind of late to be out, don't you think? The dead don't keep normal hours, dear. I think I've forgotten what normal hours are. Ugh, forget it. It's just his saxophone. City looks so peaceful and quiet tonight, you can almost forget that there are a million lost souls out there. Ah, uh, no. I was just a kid when they built that thing. What's it been, 60, 70 years? Where does the time go? Ah, uh, no. 
Another night, another crazy spook. Hopefully this won't take too long. Hey, Mac, the name's Joey. Ah, the talkative sort, are we? Well, we'll soon sort that out. Pay attention, you fat chump. I'm talking. That's your idea of intimidating? Quiet, will ya? So... Nice night, huh? That's a pretty nice instrument you got there. Mind if I have a look? Hey, do you feel... restless? Like you've got somewhere to go, but don't know where? It means you're dead, Mac. Can you even hear me? Hey, you got a cigarette? I could sure use one. Hey, do you know where the Guggenheim Museum is? The wife and I have been trying to find it all day. The wife? Shh! I'll be back, pal. Don't you worry. Hey, I'm talking, Buster! Hey! hey. You let go. go! I need to ask you a few questions first. Not now, man! Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Get off the stage! Stage? Ow! That's, That's how we how treat your kind at Johnny Ivory's. Johnny Ivory's? What are you talking about? Hello? Oh, we're dealing with a real sharp tack here. That ghost mentioned Johnny Ivory's. No blade connection. You think? <sighs> Hello again. I said, I said let, let go, go of that. that. Just what are you doing here? What am what I doing? doing? What, what do, do you, you think, think I'm, I'm doing? doing? Get, Get away, away from, from me, man. man. I'm Joey. Pleasure to meet you. I don't, I don't care, care who you are. are. Nobody, Nobody interrupts, interrupts my set. set. I'm gonna talk to you, and you're gonna listen. Or so help me, I'll take this sex and shove it right up your... Give me that! Who or what is Johnny Ivory's? What, are you, what are you kidding, kidding me? me? You're, you're crazier, crazier than you see. Get, Get out of here! Aww! Oh. Hello, I s Why are you haunting this place? Huh? What, what are you are talking you about, about, man? man? You're crazy! Get, Get off, off before, before security, security gets, gets you. you. Get, Get out of here! Ow! Hey, you got a minute? What is it now? So what do you think of our guy? Him? I don't think he wants to be saved. Really? Look at him. He seems peaceful enough. I say we just leave him. You know we can't do that, sweetheart. Yeah, I know. I'm just cranky and tired. Is that right? It's hard to tell with you. Be quiet. If you got a haunt a place, I can't think of a more perfect spot. I don't think he's paying attention to the view. Hmm, what a waste. Hmm, you know, I really don't have anything to say. Hmm. Is Johnny Ivory a name? Never heard of a name like that. I don't know. There's always the phone book. All right. Let's yeah. Ugh. How am I supposed to do that? He's a ghost. I'm not. I've never seen somebody smoke as fast as she does. <clears throat> Johnny Ivory's Jazz and Cabaret. It's on Bleecker and 7th Avenue. You up for some jazz, Joey? You mean we finally get to listen to some real music? Call it my special treat.
Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Hmm, this one looks interesting. Courtesy of Jambalaya Records. Hmm, might be worth checking out. The only thing holding up that dress is fate. Pretty girl, though. I wonder who she is. That's him. The Jasmine ghost from the promenade. Looks like we're on the right track. The woman is blocking the piano player. I can't see his face. This place is empty. Good. The less people, the better. Hmm. This one looks interesting. Hmm. It's his sheet music. He's barely looking at it. He must know the song by heart. I don't know much about pianos, but it seems nice enough. He seems to be enjoying himself, even though there's nobody here to listen to him. Hey, mister. Yes? Got a minute? For a pretty thing like you, I got several. Huh. So what brings you here on such a sad night? I just love music. Well, how about that? I just happen to make music. It's a match made in heaven. And Lauren, what's your name? Pleasure is all mine, Lauren. You can call me C. C? You got it, sister. Is that C like the water? That's C like the chord. It's the first chord I played, and you never forget your first. Ain't that the truth? You know any other musicians? I do run in those circles, yeah. Any of them play here? Sometimes we get major gigs here. But me, I'm what you call the dependable type. These fingers can go all night long. Can they now? Oh jeez, make him stop. What's the band in that photograph behind you? That picture is old, sister. It's not that old. Old enough. Before my time is all. It's okay for me to talk to you like this. I don't hear anybody else complaining. Dull night, huh? You could say that. But I think it just got a bit more interesting. Is that right? Well, these lips don't lie. I'm looking for info about a musician. Well, I'll try to help you out. Who is he? I don't know his name. I think he's a sax player. I know lots of sax players, sister. Big guy, kind of chubby, has a beard. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. Do you have a copy of that photograph anywhere? Nope. Sorry. See you around. Anytime, sister. I'm not here to relax. Say cheese. Not now. I don't know much about It's the photo from Johnny Ivory's. Hmm, this one looks interesting. Jambalaya Records, huh? It's as good a lead as any. It's our sax playing spirit in the flesh. Whoever that is, I can't see him. Especially with such a pleasant distraction getting in the way. Take a closer look. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Sounds a bit out of tune. How would you know? He's a swinger past his prime. Not bad on the piano, though. I just wish he'd keep his eyes on the keys. Aww. This one's overprotective. This joint doesn't draw much of a weekday crowd.
Let's talk, shall we? Uh huh. Say cheese. Having fun? It's my phone. Jambalaya catering, jambalaya publishing, jambalaya's used cars. I'll have to be more specific. Jambalaya's used cars. <laughs> There's no entry for that. I'm not ready for it. Here we go. Jumbalaya Records, 240 Essex Street. I'll jot that down. Busy. I better go over there in person. Busy. I better go over there in person. I don't need a picture of that. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. He looks pretty hard at work. It's the front door. Say cheese. Good evening. Good evening to you. I'm Dwayne. Lauren Blackwell. I was hoping you could help me. I'll do my best. What can I do for you? So what is this place? This? This is a music agency. We manage bands, do promotions, things like that, you know. Well, by we, I really mean me. You do this all by yourself? Yep. One man operation. That's me. What sort of music do you manage? Mostly jazz and reggae. Nobody famous. Most small timers have trouble getting their foot in the door. Getting gigs in small clubs. Helping with recording sessions. You know. The basic stuff that musicians don't want to deal with. You're open late. Really? Yeah, I suppose I am. I learned to work musician hours, you know. You play a gig at night and have a problem? You want someone to call? Your clients have lots of problems, do they? Don't get me started. I'm looking for a sax player. Well, I can definitely help you there. You looking for a stand-in or something more long-term? Oh, no, sorry. I'm not with a band. I'm looking for a specific sax player. Well, if he's a client of mine, I can help you. What's his name? That's the problem. I don't know. But he's in a photograph that your company took. Really? Can I see it? Sure, I've got a copy right here. Great. Let me see. Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. Do you know this band? Oh yeah, I remember those guys. The C Sharps. That was the band's name? Yeah, I used to manage them. You used to manage them, but not anymore? Nah, been about eight, ten years. Time flies, you know. He looks pretty hard. The Promenade Ghost once played in a band called the C-Sharps. Hi again. Hi yourself. Again. What can you tell me about the C-Sharps? Oh, they were strictly lounge jazz, you know. But I saw them doing more. 
they really gelled, you know? Gelled? In tune with each other. And that lady had a voice like velvet. What happened to them? Don't know. They disappeared. Got them a few gigs and cut a record and that was it. Guess they just moved on or just broke up. It happens, you know. What was the second? Ah, well, it was a long time ago. I'm not much on individual names. I just remember the band. I only deal with the leader, you know. So who is the leader? Uh, sorry. You don't remember that either? It was a while ago, you know. Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. Burning the midnight oil, eh? He's either really dedicated or has nothing worth going home to. Look at her. Not a flicker of interest on her face. She wouldn't recognize good music if it kissed her. Look at her. She would We've got company. Can you see? Pardon? Can't you see? See what, lady? The whole of the world. Connections, patterns, pulsing with life everywhere. Oh, great. One of New York's finest crazies. Do something about this old bat, will ya? Go away, will ya? Bother someone who cares. Fool! Liar! Can't you see? Um... Useless! Useless! Wow. I know. Only in New York.